Welcome, dear one. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for taking this time to contemplate those things that bring true happiness to this world and to yourself. True peace and love. And it is not easy because the world tries to distract us in so many ways. So to come to this place where we contemplate the self, the workings of Maya and the mind is very much ahead in the game in the play of life. All of life is for awakening. But for a long time we cannot see this. Because when we come to this earth, we all are under the spell of Maya. And even when we begin to meditate actively and are ready for awakening, Maya still tries very hard to distract us and pull us back into material life. But it is not a bad thing. In truth, nothing on this earth is truly opposing us or evil. It acts as a catalyst so that we can see more clearly what it is that we truly want and ultimately who we really are. So what is Maya and how does it work? In Advaita Vedanta, Maya refers to the veil of ignorance that covers over our true nature and the nature of the world around us. In truth, we are eternal being, Brahman. But when we come to this earth, we are conditioned to believe that we are only this body, the mind, ego, rather than divine being. We cannot explain this in the mind. But from our own observation, we can say that we chose this experience for a while. For a long time, we are quite content with this body and this apparent sense of separation. We enjoy creating a family of our own, falling in love with another, fighting for things, striving towards goals that we set in life. But there comes a time when this memory of our original divine nature begins to awaken again, against all the odds of this apparent world. And we sense some kind of dissatisfaction and the need to search for more. It is the nature of all of life. Because we all are meant to awaken. But it happens over many lifetimes. This is why we can observe all the different stages. There is the one who is quite content with this phenomenal world and the material life. Others are more dissatisfied, longing, searching. And then there is the fully realized one. It seems to happen in all these different bodies, but ultimately it is the same one consciousness that somehow delights 
in its journey back to its own self. So how does the mind fit into all of this? The mind is an intrinsic part of Maya. It very much binds us to this phenomenal world. It constantly creates images of the past or future, distracting our attention away from this present moment, from what is here right now. And this creates a lot of trouble and suffering. We worry about the future, get caught up in mental loops about the past, connected with feelings of anger, shame, guilt. So much of our human experience is given to the mind. But we are not the mind. So I want to share with you a simple exercise today that helps us realize this beyond mental recognition. Words are important because they help us prepare the ground for experience. Clear out some of the haze that is clouding our vision. But mental recognition alone is not enough. It will never lead to full awakening. This is why it is so important that we take the time to look inside and verify these words inside of our being. So let us do this now. Let us see for ourselves what is beyond the mind and maya. If there are still a lot of thoughts traveling through your mind, take a few deep breaths and begin to observe them rather than identify. You may wish to close your eyes. It helps to turn the attention from the outside to the inside where actual experience takes place. Begin to watch your thoughts come and go. And notice that if you do not identify, they simply pass by like clouds in the sky. They have no power. So let's do this for a while. Do not identify with your thoughts, good or bad, if there is such a thing. Simply let them pass by inside of your awareness. What happens when we do this? Already there is a sense of peace more space, calm. And you can do this any time during the day when you get caught up in a mental scenario and you don't even need a quiet place or call it a meditation. Simply allow for this recognition to take place. Our thoughts confine our awareness to such a limited space. As I mentioned before, most of the time carried away in some imaginary past or future. But our true self is much greater than this. And we can see this now. There is a place in our perceiving that is not disturbed no matter what thoughts are passing by. Where thoughts in fact only exist as long as we pay them our attention. We call it our awareness. 
And then we can take the next step to not even observe our thoughts. Cease any activity or engagement and simply be. Our true being does not do anything, does not need to figure things out. It simply is. It has no boundary. This body also appears inside of it. It has been here long before the body. Our true nature was never born and it will never die. It is eternal. You need to give this some time, dear one, because conditioning and maya will not easily surrender and will continue to gain your attention back and your belief. So you need to be strong and persevere. And in time it will become easier and much faster to be able to take your true position. So I recommend that you don't go back into other activities now right away, but stay for a while, remain as the silence, this peace that you are. All blessings are with you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Share it with anyone else you think can benefit. And if you like, subscribe to my channel so we can stay connected. All my love to you.